This is Ask Firebase, a show where we answer all sorts of Firebase questions on whatever medium you ask questions on. We take those questions, we give you answers. It's a show. Let's get into it. Ask Firebase, big one, Mark. Hey folks, my name is Abe Haskins. I'm a Firebase engineer here in San Francisco, and I'm here to talk to you about Firebase for Unity. If you haven't already seen it, I did a getting started video for Firebase and Unity. It'll be linked below. But in the meantime, I want to talk to you about some of the great questions we've gotten since we released the Firebase SDK into general availability a few weeks ago. Also, unrelated, but if you want to call me Abe, that's great. You want to call me Abe, you want to call me literally anything, I'm okay with it. As long as it starts with an A and has some letters after it, we're all good. Let's dive in. That's not nice. <laughs> Let's get started with the first question from my laptop battery is dead. All right, first question. <laughs> On our last YouTube video about Unity, 7 Madara one asked, can I use this to build out WebGL games that I've developed in Unity? And the answer is no, you really can't. Since the Firebase SDK for Unity is built on the Android SDK and the iOS SDK, we don't have the ability to build out for WebGL or PlayStation 3 or some of these other platforms that Unity supports. You'll find that some of the features do work and even in the editor, they're stubbed out so you'll be able to use them and test your code and compile it and everything like that. But you won't get the same functionality you would if you built out the game for the device. Thanks for the question. Next question. On the Firebase mailing list, Deep Pixel asked, why does my app report libapp.so cannot be found? This is actually a great question and it's related to another issue we've gotten on GitHub from Sakura777. He said, why is Firebase app not able to be found? These issues are both related to the timing of when Unity imports the dependencies it requires to run the Firebase SDK. In some environments, you're just gonna luck out and you're not gonna have to deal with this, but it just depends on your specific game and your specific operating system. So what you can do is one, make Make sure you're on the latest version of the Unity plugin. We've pushed some changes that should help this for a lot of people. And two, you can go into the Assets folder and go to Play Service Resolver, Android Resolver, Settings, and there's an Enable Auto Resolution checkbox. This is just gonna do some extra things to help you get those dependencies imported and help control that timing so everything's gonna work well for you. All right, and if you do that, your issue should be solved. Thanks a ton, Sakura and DeepPixel. Next question. The next question is one we've been getting a ton. A lot of people want to upload different assets for their game into Firebase Cloud Storage. They want to upload images and text, you know, all of these great things, movies, et cetera, et cetera, all those things you need for your game. You know, you know the stuff. They want to upload those into Cloud Storage and then retrieve them in their game and just, you know, use them in the easiest possible way. The Firebase Unity SDK is really good when you're dealing with these storage assets because you have a lot of control. You can download them as streams or you can download them as a byte array, but you don't have to really do all of that if you're not interested in dealing with those more complex flows. The absolute easiest way to get an asset out of cloud storage rendered or consumed in your game in some way is to use the triple W package and the get download URL async method that we offer. With that method, you'll just get a normal URL. It's a public URL that you can consume and pull down just like any other URL. And the triple W package in Unity makes it really, really simple to take that URL, download it, and turn it into a material, turn it into an audio clip, even a movie. So any of those assets you upload in cloud storage or your users upload, if they're uploading profile icons or anything like that, you just pull them down with triple W and you'll be good to go. If you wanna find out more about the triple W package or how it works with the git download URL async method, you can check out our documentation or the Unity documentation. Both are great resources for this. Thanks a ton for that question, everyone who asked it. I appreciate it. It. Next question. You guys have no idea how much I spend on conditioner to get this volume. And the final question, the big one we all want to hear about, Cloud Functions. I'm sure you heard at Google Next we announced this awesome thing, Cloud Functions. How does that work with Unity? What can we do with these two things put together? And the answer is you can do like anything. If you check out the repo we have, we have a function sample repo, and this isn't specific to Unity. It's just our general function sample repo. It has 26 different examples of things that functions can do. And every single one of those you could do with the Firebase SDK in Unity with Cloud Functions. And that's because Cloud Functions ties into your real-time database. It ties into analytics and storage and all these other Firebase services that are supported in Unity and it lets you execute code and change things way back on our cloud so you don't even have to think about it. So if you want a game that interacts with an external API or you want a game that has some custom authentication that you've brewed up in your awesome game development shack, you can do this with Cloud Functions and you don't have to worry about scaling or anything like that. So you can absolutely use Cloud Functions with Unity and it's highly, highly recommended. So go check out that repository. It's got a ton of different samples and every single one will work great with 
Unity. Thanks for the question. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. That's gonna wrap up this Ask Firebase featuring Unity. If you have any more questions, obviously you can leave them in the YouTube comments below, post them on Stack Overflow, tweet them on Twitter with that hashtag, ask Firebase, or literally reach out to us in any way. Tweet at me, tweet at Firebase, shout it at the top of your lungs near a Google office. We will hear it, we will answer your questions. We'll see you next time.